As a daughter of a farmer, I grew up seeing my father and some of our neighbors plant rice in the rice field. I even joined and helped them in planting way back when I was still a child. But actually, it was not more than helping but more just enjoying myself being able to step in the mud and get wet. That time, I didn't really know that what we are planting is a very big help in our family and in the community. As I grow older, I realize that it is not easy to grow rice, especially in our place. We only depend on the water coming from the rain, since our place don't have an irrigation system. Which means, if there's no rain, no planting of rice for that season. I remember when my mother used to tell me to pray so the Lord will send us some rain. Perhaps that's one of the many reasons why I so love when it rains. The Lord hears my prayer, and it felt so amazing. I bet all of us here knows what rice is, but just in case you chose not to know, rice is a cereal grain that is most widely consumed staple food for a large part of the world's population especially in Asia, especially in my country, the Philippines. When I went to some of the major cities in the Philippines, it makes me sad seeing a lot of rice going to waste. I worked in the hospitality industry before, and I always witnessed a lot of leftover rice being thrown away from many restaurants and of course not just from the restaurants but also from a lot of households. I know they are also not happy about it because they are also trying to cut cost. However, some households don't just give value to this very high demand commodity. I just can't stop myself being sad seeing those wasted rice. I know how much effort the farmers gave so they could produce rice to feed the community, to feed the world. And so many people are starving around the world and so is around my country. Do you even know how to plant rice? Well, not a lot of people knows how. But in this video, I will let you see how we, the farmers, in our village do it. First thing to do is to get rice seed from the Department of Agriculture or from your previous harvest. Once you have the seeds, you need to soak it in the water for at least 24 hours. Next thing to do is to prepare for the seed beds where you will be placing the rice seeds. The farmer have to make sure that the seed beds are muddy for proper growth of rice plant. After a week or two, the rice plant are ready for transplanting. And of course, you can just go ahead and plant it in the rice field. You need to undergo the land preparation. It typically involves plowing, digging, mixing, and overturning of soil harrowing to make the soil structure into smaller mass and incorporate plant residue. And we, like the most farmers do in the Philippines, we don't have proper technology in land preparation, so most of the time we use this carabao in digging the soil. After the land preparation, we will now proceed with transplanting of the weeds. As a person who was able to try chewing the rice, Planting. I could say it is really not easy. Your whole body would hurt. After a couple of hours, half standing, half sitting, under the heat of the sun, or if it's raining, under the cold rain in the muddy rice fields.
then, once the rice fields were already covered with a newly planted wheat, we need to wait for a couple of months for the harvest season. And it really doesn't stop there. We need to take care of these rice plants for good production. We need to fight against the birds, the pests, just rats and snails, and we need to pray for good weather. After three months, it will change to yellow gold, which means near to harvesting month. That's in the fourth month from planting. Once the harvest is done, it will be put on a treaser to separate the grain from the grass and the collected grain of rice will be put into drying under the sun for a couple of days, depending on the weather. If it is already dry, the next step is to mill the grains. So from drying to milling, which results your white rice grains being removed from the bran layers. And there ends the process of how you get the rice you are throwing away.